Hello, welcome back to another beer review, and this one is an American beer, um, one of the biggest selling beers in America. Now this beer is owned by Miller Coors, and apparently it's, it's brewed all manner of different um, areas in America. And this beer, apparently, outsells some of the excuse me, leading brands like Sierra Nevada and Samuel Adams. So the beer is from the Blue Moon Brewing Company and it's um, originally called Blue Moon. Lovely jubbly, boys and girls. Belgian white um, star wheat ale. There's the back side. And it's coming in at 5.4% A... BV, so you know, no slouch where strength's concerned. But so I haven't. I've had this all oh, once or twice. Um, can't really remember much about it. To be honest with you. So let's crack her open. There is the Blue Moon Brewing Company crown. Let's see what we get. And there is a big, there is a second sniff from the neck, a big cereal note coming through. Wheaty cerealness is there. Not much else, not much else at all. So um, I'm hoping it will uh, come out a little bit better in the glass light. So let's pour out. So she's come out quite cloudy. Um, Quite a golden, there is yeast sediment in this, it's bottle conditioned by the looks of it. Um, it's where it says unfil unfiltered wheat beer on the car, right? and you can see that. I don't know if you can see that, boys and girls, there is quite a bit of sediment there. Um, fluffy, fluffy, one of the fluffiest, whitest heads I've seen for a while, as you can see there. And there's a hint of vanilla in the aroma that all that wheaty brownness has completely disappeared and uh, there is a bit of a wheaty there's not much wheat there at all actually there's more vanilla and there's a little metallic coin not um, coppery kind of thing in the background as well I'll just read it. Read what it says on the neck before I go in on her. Um, Blue Moon, a refreshing, unfiltered unfil wheat beer, brewed and spiced in the Belgian tradition for unique, complex taste, which with a smooth finish. Um, it says here the Blue Moon Brewing Company was born in 1995 uh, in Denver, Colorado. When we added unique and subtle twists to old world handcrafted brewing traditions, since then not much has changed. Still just a bunch of friends having fun making great beer. What's not to love about that? Um, Blue Moon is brewed with oats for creaminess, spiced with perfect combination of orange and coriander. So, yeah. So I'll just go in. So cheers, I'm going to go in. This type, this this feels a lot better. Um, last time I had it, it's coming back to me a bit now because it was a bit hazy when I last had it. First off, what you get, you're getting that wheat, that wheatiness there. Um, which is the, the thing is, which is different about this wheat beer as opposed to wheat beers I've had before. It's not very sweet. It's there's a hint of orange rind, a um, little bit of herb there. The overall mouthful, it does feel uh, like um, quite full-bodied. Slight dryness, 
do get a bit of um, alcohol presence there. Um, all in all, though, you know, it's okay, but I can I can imagine people not really enjoying it much. I can imagine there not being many fans of this one. Um, because some people might think, well, it's a little bit cardboardy. It is a little bit cardboardy in um, in taste, but um, for me, for my palate, it's okay. It's an okay beer, yeah. And it's it's not really opening up anything else to me. What I tasted first in the first taste is is stayed the same. It's 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 not brought up any more complexity in the taste or anything. It's it's okay. Um, so it's middle of the road. For, so boys and girls, yeah, blue moon, give it a go. It's okay beer. It's middle of the road. It's it's not gonna bowl you over and say it's wonderful you know that is you know it's going to give you loads of complexity and taste and aromas but it's all right thanks for watching this review please subscribe <coughs> see you on my next one